Hi, my name is Kimberly Sherry, and I was born and raised as a Jehovah's Witness, and my mother was a witness. My father was not. He sexually abused me from the age of two and a half until I went to kindergarten. I married a Jehovah's Witness, like a good Jehovah's Witness, and he cheated on me for 23 of the 25 years we were married. So needless to say, by the time I was 33, I was suicidal. Instead, I got angry. I got mad and took the steps I needed to get out of the organization. And there was no help then, so I started my own support group. And I ran this support group every month for nine years. This was a huge part of my recovery and incredibly satisfying because for the first time, I felt like I was really helping someone. There were people that told me that I had helped save their life. And this was way more rewarding than all those years of knocking on all those doors. So what I do today, I work as an energy healer where I'm able to help people move past all of those fears that keep us paralyzed and stuck, moving past all the anger and the resentment and feeling like we've wasted so much time. And it's really hard to get through these kinds of things on our own. And this is why we need help. I've spent a lot of money working with coaches, business coaches, mentors, and, and other people that can help. And it's one thing that I know for certain is that you can only go so far on your own. And then you eventually need to reach out to people that understand and that can take you to your next step. So if you'd like a little taste of how I work and what I do, I have some free meditations if they're not posted to this website that you can go to my website at KimberlySherry.com. That's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-S-H-E-R-R-Y.com. And there's five meditations there that will help you to release a lot of these lower vibrating energies that keep you in these places of anger and fear. So my suggestion is just to listen to those, notice what you notice, and if you'd like to know more, you can always email me through my website. Thanks for listening.